course the buzzword in today's automotive society is Toyota. Well, usually have been lately the number one automaker in the world until their little problem, maybe they're number two now. Sales have gone down, stocks have gone down over a simple problem like a gas pedal. Well, that's the problem. I don't think it's as simple as a gas pedal. Sure, it's simple to solve the problem if your throttle sticks and you're going too fast. Why can't anybody just put your car in neutral? Your car's got a rev limiter on it. Nothing's going to happen. It's just going to go vroom, 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 coast to a stop. Sure, well, I guess there is one problem when you do that. The power brakes don't work as well. You see, when you're under full acceleration, you don't have vacuum to your vacuum booster. But still, with no power pushing you, it wouldn't take that long to stop, even with manual feeling brakes. The next thing is, why don't you just turn the key off? If your car is still in drive, you can't turn the key all the way off, so it's not going to go to lock position, so there's nothing to worry about there. So, you just coast again. It doesn't hurt your automatic transmission just to turn the key off, does it? No. The real thing I think is wrong with Toyotas, which they don't want to admit, is that a lot of these cars are drive-by-wire cars. I think BMW pioneered this. It means your accelerator moves an electronic device. Electronic device tells, sends a signal to a servo on your th throttle and that opens and closes. Well, here's a throttle body. Well, whether you've got a servo over here or something like that that opens and closes it for you when you step on the gas pedal, or you've got a cable that attaches to a linkage like this. So if yours is a servo system that's opening and closing that throttle like I just demonstrated, well then of course there's no way pulling the gas pedal back is going to change it if the computer is running it in some sort of error. Who knows what sort of random signal could have interfered with the control system running that servo and caused it to go to like manual override and go full throttle. But still, can't people have the peace of mind, a little brain fart or something, to just turn the key off, put it in neutral, whatever, solve their problem? Toyota is going to have to solve their problem, I think, by actually changing all the computers in the cars so they don't have this electronic problem happening. It seems that some of the cars who've had the gas pedal fixed, it still happens with. So Toyota, as big as they are, is going to have to admit fault, is going to have to re-engineer a more secure system, fail-safe system, to get themselves out of this mess. <laughs> I still like Toyotas and I'd still buy one and I still recommend them. They'll get over this soon enough.